Okay, so Hop is being the generous guy he is and let us choose our Pokemon first. I mean, it's only natural. Uh, so, we have the Grass type Grookey, we have the Fire type Score Bunny, and then we have the Water type Sobble. Now, because, I mean, this is everybody's first experience with Generation 8, uh, so it's only natural, I don't really know much about Generation 8 Pokemon. Uh, so let me just say this, on my practice file, I am using Sobble, and I actually really do like Sobble. Uh, Sobble's really good, and its move pool is really amazing, um, but I think it wouldn't be right if I use Sobble again, and then not try out the other starters, um, so, uh, that, that's that option out of the way. Uh, as unfortunate that is, um, most people who most people who know me for Pokemon know that I have a, a bias towards water po water stars and water Pokemon in general. Uh, but this time around, I am not going to be using a water starter as I have for most of my LPs. Uh, Grookey. Oh, Grookey's tempting because, uh, let's be honest, I've only ever chose the Grass Starter twice in two Pokemon LPs, which was Turtwig and Platinum and Bulbasaur in Pokemon Fire Red. But, um, you know, so naturally I should give Grass a, the Grass type a chance. But, you know what? There's one Pokemon. When I was. When I was, like, anticipating this game for so much, uh, so long, there was one Pokemon I anticipated most on, and that is... this guy. So, I think, for this LP, we are going to start off with Score Bunny. Um... And, uh... If you haven't, if, if for anyone who doesn't follow my social media, I usually talk about where I usually talk about my personal life on Twitter. Um, you, you should probably know that a couple months ago, or at least a couple months uh, ago, as I uploaded this episode, uh, I went to Sac Anime, like the convention this year, for my very first time, and I got a plushie of Score Bunny, and I should, and, um, and that is, the, it is super cute, and I think Score Bunny is really cute as well. Sobble's cute too, that's why I picked it. And we're gonna choose Score Bunny. Alright, so that's our first team member. And then, because it's our first team member, it's time to give it a nickname. Okay, so the first team member is going to be Jason the Score Bunny. Uh, probably not, not a not a decent nickname for for a Pokemon like this, but we're going to nickname it Jason. Okay. Okay, and Hop is going to choose Grookey. So Hop will choose the starter Pokemon that is weak to you. Which means that uh, if you pick Score Bunny, he's going to have a Grookey. If you pick Grookey, he's going to have a Sobble. And then if you pick Sobble, he's going to have a Score Bunny. So what's the Sobble going to do? It's alone. Oh, okay, it's gonna belong to, uh, it's gonna belong to Leon. Okay, so... Wait, so does this mean that the champion is gonna use the starter Pokemon that I'm weak, that I'm, that I'm weak against? It, that'll be interesting, actually. Where, like, you know, I, like, rise up, and eventually to battle with, uh, uh, battle with Leon, to see the, the, the leftover Pokemon being, um... All rose up, like grown, fully evolved, and like really powerful. I think that's got. I think that's interesting. 
I, I, I want to figure that out on my own. And I can't wait to figure, and I can't wait to, to find out if I'm right or not, or not. But I have a feeling that I'm right, because it has to be right. So, after a night, we have already got along with our star Pokemon. That's great! Okay. Oh, so already? Just like that? We're gonna become your rival? Alright. Oh, see, you're, you're, you're just gonna be all cocky like that right off the bat? I see. Oh, okay, you're gonna regret saying that. No, of course not. Alright, it's time to do it. Oh, alright, we got the champion, the judge. Who is going to take the first... Who is going to take the first step of this battle? Let's do it. Okay, I have no idea what he was saying this whole time because I kind of just been skimming over the dialogue, but I mean, he, he's just giving us basic battle tips for the most part. And anybody who's played Pokemon prior to this would already know that these battle tips are pretty straightforward. You've watched every every video of all the battles that Lee has ever had. He's read every book and magazine of Leon. Okay. And, you know, and just from all that, he knows exactly what to do to win. Oh my god. And I and, and here's me, who has absolutely no... None of that. Absolutely none of that. Which means I'm completely screwed. I'm coming into this battle completely blind, and he has the upper hand over me. What am I gonna do? Alright, here we go. First battle against Hop. Honestly... That, the, uh, the, the, I don't know, Hop is a, just, I mean, it's a name, uh, I'm not gonna judge it, every, I mean, every name has a meaning, so I'm not gonna judge, okay, so, um, Hop has two Pokemon, we have just our one Pokemon, that's already a, di a disadvantage right there, like, what the heck are we gonna do here, uh, so, um, uh, the Wulu has tackle. Oh, oh we got a crit right off the bat. Wow. I'm I'm so I'm sorry, but man, sorry. Uh, uh, you know, forget about Hop having the upper hand right there. But um, okay. And uh, that was enough for us to level up and learn our next move, which is Ember. And now he is going to send out his his new Pokemon, which is of course the Pokemon that he, that is um, weak to us. Um, and we are one level extra over the star uh, over his star Pokemon, also with an extra move. So this should probably be easy, right? Let's use Ember. What happens if we use Ember? Whoa! That did a lot of damage. Do I already know about type of it? I, I, I know, I know, it's crazy. How did I know? I, 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 again, like, I, 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 I do not have any of these resources that you just mentioned before the fight. And I'm just like, I'm just experimenting things and they just happen to work out in my favor. Wow. So what was that about you saying that you've watched all videos, books and magazines of Leon? And you saying that you know exactly what to what what to uh, uh, what to do in order to win. Then again, part of that reason was the crit right there. So you know that's great. What? You're gonna send out Charizard and have like a one v one v one free for all battle? That wouldn't be fair. Your charge was probably like, what, level 80 or something like that? I can't stand against that. What's the fun in that? 
be a real rival to him? I mean, he already lost, but sure. The gym challenge already? I mean, isn't that a little too early to think about that? Hey, what Rapidash? Yeah, I mean, we just started to become a trainer. You think we're ready for the gym challenge like right off the bat? Get a Pokedex. Yeah, we don't even have a Pokedex yet. We came in. We need to learn about Pokemon through a Pokedex. Chuck, are you sure you get it? All right, keep saying that, and your ego is going to uh, turn against you. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah. There's not much else. Whoa. What? What just happened? Gate open. Uh oh. And the Wulu. Did it actually broke the fence? I mean, I I guess. I don't know, we've gotta save it? Well... Man, what if that Pokemon gets goes into danger? Man, this is a reckless idea, but I guess we got no choice. So let's go. So this is Slumbering Wheel. And, uh, it's kind of strange. You know, there's a dangerous dungeon looking... Well, I mean, if this is considered... If, this, if you consider this your first official dungeon, but... Um, it, it's kind of crazy how there's a super dangerous place, and we... And, like, I, I, I live, like, right next to it. That means if something happens in this place, I'm the first one to get targeted. It's bad. Okay, so now that we have Pokemon, we can safely walk to the grass. So, let's go ahead and... Uh-oh. Well then! Alright. So, Slumbering Wheel has uh, a few Pokemon that you can encounter. Uh, right now, I don't think you can catch anything. Yeah, we don't have anything. Okay, so it's kind of pointless to kind of go over anything, really. But, I get, but just for reference, I can talk about what you can find. Uh, and this is typical wall Pokemon battle. They brought back the... Um, Law Pokemon Battle System from other Pokemon games. Um, the last main series game uh, before this was Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, and the Wall Battle System was much different in that game. Um, I personally didn't really enjoy it that much in, in Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, and so I'm really glad that they brought it back in this game. Uh, but, um, you know, typical Pokemon, you can run into grass. Uh, and you'll encounter a Pokemon. If you talk to Hop here, he will heal up your Pokemon, but I've, I've barely taken any damage, so it's probably pointless. Uh, but, um, yeah, so the Wild Pokemon system is, is back, at least the traditional way is back, which is nice. Uh, so you can, you can either run away from a Wild Pokemon battle, uh, or you can KO it for little bits of XP that may or may not potentially add up over the course of the game. Um, I won't spend too much time, you know, KOing wild Pokemon, uh, because it's, uh, like, you know, LP purposes, I, I need to, I, I don't want to drag the video. Um, also... 
Uh, and for that reason, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of Pokemon encounters most of the time. Uh, anyone who's seen, anybody who, who's familiar with my Pokemon LPs already, like, know that that should not be any, like, surprise or anything like that. Uh, and so with that being said, the Pokemon that you can find here, you can find, I've already encountered Squabet, and I found Rookie D. You can also find Blipbug, uh, and then, uh, Grubin, and then returning from Generation 2 is Hoo. I can probably show this off here, uh, but, um, if you already gathered, when, when you encounter a Pokemon, you gather part of its information, and the other cool thing about that is that in battle, it actually tells you what moves are good and or not good against the Pokemon that you're fighting. So, you know, if you need to know your type advantages, this is a pretty good way to figure out what type this Pokemon might be. So this game is, you know, they're, I, guess, I guess the game, I guess they're trying to make Pokemon more and more beginner friendly as they make more games, uh, which is not a bad thing. Um, but I also think that you shouldn't like, you know, give too much a helping hand for you know Pokemon veterans either, which I think the game doesn't really like consider too much of the veterans that much with how easy it is to go through this game. Or at least, so far, it's been easy for me to go through this game. This is mad! Wow. Look how foggy this place is. Oh my god! What is that? Lord! Wow! That, that is a crazy looking Pokemon. If it even is a Pokemon. So you can run from it. Oh, I can't get away. Why is that? Is it a ghost? Why well, do I ember it? What? It did nothing? Man, this really is a ghost. That's insane. And it's not attacking me either. Why don't I tackle it? It also did nothing. What? Oh my god, what happened? Am I okay? Probably not. I can't do any attack and I can't run away! Well, that's why I growl at it! It did nothing! Oh my god, did we, did we just lose? Somehow? Yo, I think we died. Well, somehow we escaped that, I guess. Oh, look at that! Leon to the rescue! Oh yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's totally. That's what you. De that's what you definitely say to someone who just saved your life. Oh, he found the Wulu. Where could it have been? Oh, he passed out? I see. This music is so creepy.
that mad Pokemon attack. Seem low, stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. I wonder what kind of Pokemon it is. Talking about that sounds like nonsense. I was battling an illusion the whole time. Um, it's it is worth noting that if you are playing Shield, then you are going to encounter a different Pokemon, and I wonder why. Okay, and with that, um, well, we are going to, well, ac ac actually, I guess I can do this now. It's, it doesn't take that long. All we have to do is his letter mom know that we're going to go on an adventure, just like every game. Well, not really every game, but most games. So that's our score bunny. Yeah, we are. Ooh, we got pocket money already? Okay. No, I promise I won't. It's gonna grow, and then and then you won't be calling li calling it little anymore. All right. So, um, something interesting is that. Well, actually, oh, we have a mystery gift already? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you can get mystery gifts from people, uh, online or locally, which is pretty cool. Also, here's your Pokemon. You can, uh, check its summary. So here's my score bunny. Just pretty nice, it has decent stats. Pretty gun special defense. Wait, is. What is. Is blue mean bad and pink mean good? So my score bunny is good on speed and bad on special defense. Well, if, I mean, if it has good speed, then it shouldn't be that. Then it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Having good speed is good. Naive nature. Uh, I'm not really good with nature, so I'm not sure. So I'm not sure what that boosts up to. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, with that being said, uh, next time on Pokemon Sword and Shield, we're about to go on an adventure. Our, our, our ad grand adventure begins to Wedgehurst. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.